guys! Welcome to Life of Palos. I am Aaron Palos, and welcome to another beautiful day of supercar community news for all of you. Oh, we got a fun episode today. Yes, a fun episode, guys, not a dreary one whatsoever. I figured with all the crazy drama, the real drama that's been happening over the past couple days, we could use some sort of light-hearted drama, if that makes sense to you guys. So like I always do, guys, I rest on the sort of the backbone of the LP fam delivering interesting and sort of unique content to me on a daily basis. And I got sent something pretty hilarious that had to do with a, a stranger insulting Stradman's family but not knowing it. Additionally guys we're gonna have a lot of other great stuff today so thanks so much for joining me and let's get into our main story. So just a couple days ago guys Stradman posted this really excellent picture of all of his cars and sort of re-emphasized his excitement about going to pick up his new Hellcat powered Jeep Gladiator. And just like Stradman was excited so too were a lot of his fans. Uh, we actually looked through and we found one particular comment by the account name of 801 Russ. Now 801 Russ says, you know, so excited, man. I cannot wait. Very pumped about it. Stradman talks about what he's going to do with it before the 6x6 and, you know, all seem to be well. Until we look a little bit deeper into the comments and we have one particular account that, well, just, I guess, couldn't, couldn't join in the excitement. Michael Keaton 42 decided to make a sort of a, a negative type statement toward 801 Russ that essentially was like, man, you're excited about a stranger's life. Life, your life must absolutely suck. Now, much to his surprise, Stradman had a, a bit of a retort for him, and I think it was probably one of the most kind of oopsie moments I've seen someone have on Instagram in just a long, long time. Turns out that 801 Russ is actually Stradman's uncle. Yes, he, uh, this, this particular guy, Michael Keaton42, decided to insult without knowing it, uh, I guess, a member of Stradman's family, his uncle. Uh, kind of a major mistake, and it would have been a negative thing to say to anyone but just to happen to pick that out of the crowd insult someone you don't know and then find out it's a family member of Stradman gosh I just uh, I guess you win oopsie of the day I'm not really sure what else to call it oh yeah guys in, in the comments below what should we call blunders like this should it be like oopsie of the day what's a good way to categorize this sort of mess up on social media maybe social media fail of the day put in the comments below best comment for the name of this particular issue this fault this is sort of like a, well, oopsie for now put in the comments below and I'll pin the comment to the top and that's what we'll use from now on. Anyway guys, just a light-hearted sort of mess up. This particular guy, Michael Keaton42, tried to defend himself in the comments. It did not go very well for him. Afterward, sort of a, an early grade for this guy's social media account. So not a very fun time. So there you have it guys. Just a little sort of fun run-in with, uh, I guess, the social media faux pas that people tend to have. I think those are some of the most humorous ways to start our program each and every day. And then we get into the sort of normal car news. The really fun stuff and the super car news that you guys all crap, but I wanted to start with something a little bit lighthearted today. Anyway, guys, into our next story. Yes, guys, and actually our next story has to do with Stradman again, and that's that he, uh, I guess within nine minutes, he said, he actually broke his brand new Hellcat swapped Jeep Gladiator. Uh, not a very fun time. Luckily, they were able to get some resupply parts in uh, very quickly, so uh, thank goodness for that, but what a, what a major bummer. They have major issues basically within nine minutes, but a pretty great vlog. If you guys want to check out the entirety of the story, feel free to go over and check out Stradman's channel. Next on our list guys and yes a major mistake for me not including yesterday is B is for build guys first stick shift huracan you guys are going to want to check this out uh, obviously it's an ls swapped huracan so it's not going to have the v10 anymore uh, but you have to go check it out what a crazy build he's doing right now absolutely crushing it recently celebrated a million subscribers the guy seems to be able to do no wrong right now if you're not following B is for build you're missing out on some crazy one-of-a-kind unique builds. And someone we haven't heard from in a little while actually is Farshad. If you guys remember Farshad, he's actually got his own channel, Fargini, if you guys have never seen it. Make sure to go check out his latest video if you're at all interested in what he's been up to, obviously, but also he actually reviews the Karma Rivero GT, the sort of new spin on a car that didn't do extraordinarily well the first time through, but a Karma is sort of making all the efforts to sort of change that and make something a little bit sleeker and sexier and a little more powerful than the the original version. So if you're at all interested in that, make sure to go check it out, guys. Link in the description below. And if you guys were curious what a tuned 2020 Supra would look like, TJ Hunt has the answer for you. Go check it out. He tuned his 2020 Supra. Very interesting episode. I found myself watching a lot of the episode. I normally don't watch 100% of the episode. It's hard for me to get through everything. So I try to skim my way through. And I ended up watching a lot more of that particular episode than I normally do. So I feel like when I do that, it's more of a, a sort of a sign that I should tell you guys about it. Make Sure to go check it out, link in the description below. Next on our list, Hoobie's Garage buying the cheapest teal GMC Typhoon. 
Moon. I think I said that right. If you're at all interested in his ever-growing list of crazy cars that he buys, the cheapest in the X, Y, and Z, make sure to go check out his latest video. A lot of fun. I thought it was an entertaining vlog. Definitely go check it out anytime he buys a new car. We've got a certain number of videos we know are going to be coming afterwards. So go check it out if you're at all interested in what he bought. Last story on our list today, guys, is another Vin Wiki fantastic sort of a car telling story uh, about finding a Lamborghini Miura in a barn. Fascinating story. Uh, talks about the chronology of finding it, the, the original ad, the pictures that were taken, who it was sold to, how it circulated afterward. Uh, a very fascinating story about, I feel like I've heard of more than one Miura being found in a barn at this point, but a fascinating story nevertheless. Make sure to go check it out, guys. VinWiki stands alone in the sort of car storytelling arena, I suppose. Check it out. And that's all I have for you today, guys. Have a wonderful evening. Have a wonderful day. It's Thursday. I don't even know where the week went, man. It's been so crazy with the stuff that we did cover over the past week or so that I feel like I haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately, but I'm starting to feel recharged. I'm doing my best going back to one video a day instead of two. A little bit of a crazy pace for me. Uh, but thank you guys so much for the support, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow, same time, same place. Bye.